How do I use an arm to score an Into the Deep? Into the Deep is a challenge that involves both vertical and horizontal extension, focusing on the submersible, where you have to extend horizontally in order to grab game pieces, and vertical extension, where you have to score. Our goals for a mechanism that performed this task had to be both precise and accurate. We wanted to be able to grab game pieces that we wanted to grab inside the submersible and then score them in a specific location. Our fundamental goal was to have easy control while also having precision. An arm in terms of robotics competitions is one of the most common mechanisms that you're going to see on any robot throughout the seasons. It's a mechanism that extends vertically and sometimes horizontally in order to score game pieces. There are many different kinds of arms that you can use in robotics. Our starter bot uses a simple swing arm and a linkage in order to perform tasks. A simple swing arm allows rotation and height, much like the one that we have here. It's mounted on an axle here, which is powered by our motor back here that's on a gear reduction, which allows it to swing upwards and have a little bit more control than it would without the gear reduction. A swing arm is easy to integrate into other systems and simple to design. One way that you can improve the precision of the arm is by adding rubber bands at the back in order to offset some of the weight that's on the arm. There are some challenges with this design as well as the benefits. One challenge is that this swing arm moves on a circle, which means that the most extension that you're going to get is at this endpoint where it is tangent. You're going to be limited by where your drive base comes out to, so if you're running into the lip that's on the submersible, the most that you can reach outside your frame perimeter is limited by the length of the swing arm. In this game, there are also obstacles above the swing arm that you may get caught on. In addition to the swing arm, this robot also uses a four bar linkage in order to extend out beyond where the swing bar would normally reach. This allows us to extend into the submersible in order to grab game pieces, and also into the baskets in order to score points. This is a four bar linkage. It uses four bars in order to use geometry to extend further beyond where a linkage would normally reach. It has two support pieces and two linkages that allow it to rotate and extend up further. This is a simple four bar mechanism. On this robot, we use this four bar mechanism and it's been tilted 90 degrees so that we can use its powers to reach into areas that we wouldn't be able to get into. It's powered by this servo motor here and it uses a power transmission, a gear reduction here, in order to reach further. There are multiple axles on this robot that you need to consider. Some of them are live axles and some of them are dead axles. A live axle is an axle that is powered. You'll see this when you connect a motor to the axles. These are the ones that control the motion on the robot. Dead axles are axles that just rotate around a point. You'll see these on our parallel bars and linkages here. Another live axle is at the back here that powers your swing arm. Keep in mind when designing your robot that a lighter end effector will be easier to control. This end effector is a little bit on the heavier side. A lighter end effector can also mean not having as many things going on at this end of the arm. It means that you'll have to route wires to the end of your arm, which can lead to some complications. Something to keep in mind when wiring this end of the arm is that you'll want to relieve some of the tension in your electronics. That means that when you extend this all the way out, your wires shouldn't get caught in the way of your other mechanisms. In this game, it's particularly important to keep your wires managed because you're reaching into a contested area and you might run into some other robots in there. In any game, really, it's important to keep your wires safe, but in this game in particular, especially at a distance, it's important to keep your robot and your electronics in a safe position. You can find more details about this robot and the kit that built it on our website. Much like any other design challenge, there is a number of ways that you can use lifts and arms in order to benefit your design process. This is a compact linear slide system. It extends out very far and can help your team reach into the deep. Extension is the main challenge in this game, and you need to be sure that whatever you're putting on your robot is okay to be outside of your frame perimeter and can get hit by other robots. We want to make sure that you design safely and have a mechanism that benefits you and your team. Overall, there are many ways to design an arm or a lift system for this game. Make sure you read the manual to determine which will give your team an arm up in this competition. And that is how you score with an arm in Into the Deep.